Yeah, thanks everyone for stopping by. My name is Paul Stubbley, I represent a company called Endotech. I'm a national BDM in charge of uh, toner and inkjet devices within the wide format space. So uh, we're the sole distributors of kit-based toner printing products, which are globally renowned for uh, productivity, quality and innovation. Uh, we're, we're a uh, strategic supplier to Konica Minolta and uh, we provide hardware and more importantly uh, servicing and support solutions. Okay, so with this uh, presentation today, I'm just going to basically take you guys through what is wide format printing and why choose toner wide format printing. Have a look a bit about the applications and the, the two, I suppose the two major things that we get back feedback from our customers and within the industry is they want to know exactly what the running costs are and time, production, and labour costs as well, so it's sort of tied into one. So we'll go through those uh, and some extra benefits as well. So not going to get too focused in on the product, but just give you guys a few little pointers that you may be able to take back and um, you know, speak to your KM rep uh, for further information. And uh, also have a look at cloud and driverless printing technology. Uh, which is the latest and greatest innovation um, and just touch on some environmental considerations uh, which has been important with some councils and some larger corporates that would like a green rating with certain types of products. Okay, so we'll get straight into it. Okay, wide format printing. Does anyone here have a wide format printer? Yep. You do, yeah? What model do you have? It's an HP, it's an old 5500. 5500, yeah. And what, what sort of uh, applications do you print with that? Uh, pull up banners. Pull up banners? Okay, yeah. so you're a PSP providing a service? Yes. Okay, right. So, wide format printing is anything from A2 to A0. So, that's 420 millimeters up to 841 millimeters plus. And there's various print technologies within wide format. So, there's toner, which I'll diverge into a lot later through the uh, presentation, there's inkjet solvent. So solvent is uh, predominantly used for permanent signage applications, vehicle wraps, banners, light boxes and so forth. It requires you know, a lot of maintenance, a lot of skill to install vinyl and so forth. It's a very specialised sort of area. Inkjet aqueous, uh, that's a, sort of a higher resolution um, printers which are predominantly used for photography, uh, canvas wraps and some internal backlits as well. Uh, Water-based ink it's really only designed for internal applications. UV curable. UV curable are a big flatbed machines so they can print onto glass and wood um, and, and various types of substrate like core flute and the machines will take up pretty much the size of this room. Again need a lot of skill, a lot of uh, specialist area to be able to provide that and dye sublimation. So this is this is within the textile market. So a lot of the flags and banners, uh, a lot of the um, on street poles you see the textile um, hanging, you know, different festivals and so forth. So that's uh, basically the different technologies within wide format. Um, I'll move into toner. So why toner wide format printing? Gives you a great scope of applications. Can save you time and money. It's easy to use and operate. I think that's the biggest point. You know, if, you, if you're running a Konica Minolta uh, Viz Hub or a machine, you know, you, you're selecting A4, A3. With a Kip Toner machine, you're, you're selecting A2, A1, A0. So it's, uh, you, you're familiar with the technology um, and it's, it's quite easy to use. So you, you can also increase your offering to your clients. Or if you're printing in-house, improve your productivity. Gives you a high t these sort of applications give you a high turnover of prints. And it's, again, it's technology you're using already. So applications. As you can see around the room, there's a lot of products and advertisements, you know, high turnover sort of applications, maps and charts, plans and line drawings, engineering documents, 3D renders. And what 3D renders is, is basically out of CAD software these days. Um, they, they put all their plans together and then it will present a nice sort of 3D image, lifelike image of uh, what the building or structure is going to look like. So that's where the CAD market has really sort of had, had a high demand for colour these days. And in terms of plans where they might have, you know, different colour scales for like plumbing or electrical wiring systems. So, you know, it uh, used to be all just black and white but there's been a, a direct need for colour these days. 
educational sort of you know the educational tools you know big ABC one two three or whatever it may be training materials financial people can print big spreadsheets out and take it into a, to a board meeting so it's nice and easy to read and corporate you know in-house marketing and all different types of of things you know the, the people that come up with the best ideas are our customers you know they sort of get these uh, prints and um, you know meeting demands of their clients and come up with all weird and wonderful ways of, of printing like you would probably have, have been doing the last couple of years with your HP. Mm -hmm. you know, there's always something new to print and create which is really good. Um, so yeah that's a bit about the, um, the application side of it and you know it's, it, it's easy. These are, these are printed on a roll, cut to size and, and delivered onto a tray so you can send them straight out, they're ready to go. So costs. Getting back to um, you know the, the, the running costs of the machine, like I said before, I mean, the main sort of things we we'll talk about is the running costs and the productivity um, of the machine. So I've done I've done an example of an inkjet print versus a toner print. So the inkjet costs a dollar eighty eight just on ink. The toner machine, Kip toner, costs fifty three cents. So this has been. Um, Printed both at standard modes, both at normal production modes, but you can see the definite cost saving. This doesn't include paper. This is printed on 80 GSM paper, which is probably the most cost effective paper you, you, can, you can print on. And you can fit 150 meters onto a roll. So say for example, if you're printing um, say 400 color posters, and this example has been created from this scenario. If you're printing 400 A1 posters, you're going to save $540. That's over 250% compared to an inkjet, just purely based on the, the ink versus toner costs. And that, that could be per day, per week. So it's really quite compelling. I mean, the, the more you sort of print, the more you're obviously going to be saving. And what's the widest width of a roll you take? The widest width roll you can take is a 914 millimeter uh, roll, but up to 150 meters in length. Um, production, so you can save time. The, the Kip machine can print 10 color A1s per minute, which is uh, works out to 600 A1s per hour. On an inkjet device, you'll print 20 A1s per hour. So if someone came to you with, say, 100 A1 posters that they would like to print, you could print it on the Kip machine in 10 minutes. Yes? That's on any thickness of stock? Yes, yeah, yes. So it's like 200? The, the machine only prints up to about 170 GSM. Okay. Um, so obviously, you know, inkjet can print on thicker stock. But where this machine really sort of uh, sort of performs well is that sort of 80 to 170 GSM GSM range. Sort of posters, documents, um, which have a high turnover. We okay. see a lot of that work out, or all of it now. And you know, I guess a regular stock would be like a 170, 180 gram photo satin or photo gloss. Yes. Yep. Yeah. We're not going to get that kind of finish. You could you could print on a satin stock. We've got a customer who's printing on a on a satin stock, doing a sort of internal retail posters and sent a lot of them out. Um, but I suppose for today, I just want to show you what it's like on bond paper rather than bringing some some nice quality quality stocks. But yeah, by all means, you can print on those sort of stocks as well. Um, so yeah, that, if you had the 100 A1 color posters, it would take you five hours on an inkjet, take you ten minutes on a kit. And that's where you also tie in your labour costs as well. You know, cost to produce. It all links in. So extra benefits. There's, there's many extra benefits of um, the, the KIP products. Uh, but obviously I just want to highlight four which may be of, of interest to you guys. UV stable prints. So that's very important in Australia because printing outdoors in Australia is one of the worst places to do it because we have some of the harshest UV rays, you know, which affects print quite a lot. And car paint. <laughs> I experienced that personally. Um, so the UV stability of a toner will last 12 months plus outdoors. An inkjet aqueous will last a week before you start to see some noticeable colour change. So sorry, so it doesn't need to be laminated then? No, don't need to. Don't you can know. laminate it to. You would laminate to um, give it, give the paper more strength, or maybe, you know, change the finish a little bit or a textured finish. Uh, but generally speaking, to keep the cost down, you wouldn't need to laminate. 
So that, that, that's a major advantage as well. Uh, so obviously inkjet being a, a, a water-based uh, ink, which is the same when you're 5500, uh, good quality, high resolution, but it's just, if you're putting prints outdoors in those sort of high turnover, click frame sort of areas, um, the toner definitely has the main advantage of that. Uh, waterproof, it's water fast. So if, if a uh, builder was out on site with a set of plans or he was installing a post or a, a fire had a, a fire department had a big map or chart and they wanted to look, um, you know, and it was raining down, the, the, uh, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't smudge. So it can print on waterproof stock as well? It can print on waterproof stock, like synthetic sort of stocks as well. Um, but, you know, even on, on coated papers, you know, with the, with the toner prints, it won't smudge. Inkjet, inkjet, work. So, you know, the, these sort of drawings, engineers, builders out on site, and generally drop lands on the page, it won't smudge on them. So it's, it can be a very important feature to some people. Uh, and odorless printing. So like, like uh, your photocopiers, you can run in an office environment. Very similar to these as well, you can run in any office. It costs less to do a black and white print than a colour, or is it? But is it? How, how's the price worked out? Is it based on toner coverage on the sheet? Yes, I've worked this out basically on toner coverage on the sheet. Um, if you speak to your camera rep, they can e you can either buy the cartridges or go into some sort of click charge. Um, just depend on what sort of solution, what you know, volumes is going to suit you the best. Um, to give you an example of some of the uh, different stocks on the back wall, I have printed on a clear film. Um, so I suppose the main advantage of that is, say, if someone was printing a chart um, and they wanted to sort of a, a map of a forest and there was a fire and they wanted to put an overlay to see where the fire trails are, they could print out on a clear film and it would give them that or, you know, fire exit of the building and so forth. Okay. So cloud and driverless printing. This has uh, become more and more relevant these days because everyone wants information at their fingertips all the time. You know, whether they have a tablet or a smartphone, they want to be able to have the information access at any time. So now you can actually control your print equipment, submit jobs, right from your, you know, you don't have to be hooked up via VPN. You can be out anywhere and submit jobs. So with driverless printing, in terms of uh, how it can be useful, you can have, you could roll a machine in, into an office location. There's a touch screen, you can print a, put a USB, view your files and print it out in various different settings. Also with the driverless printing, you can enter an IP address on a local area network and have a complete print management tool. So for submission of jobs, check the status of your printer, change all your quality settings and so forth, number of sets. So you, you can actually operate this equipment without any software. There is print drivers as well, um, but this is just a, a, new, a new feature which is, uh, yeah been taken up quite a lot by the market. And 30 to 50 percent of employees use mobile devices for daily work within most mid-sized organisations. And we're seeing that number growing every day. So cloud printing. Easy to use email printing. Use any phone, tablet, laptop, Mac or PC. So does that mean that I can email something to the printer? Exactly. Exactly right. And what we can actually do is Say if you were printing and a couple of your colleagues were printing, we can set up presets for yourself and different other colleagues because you might want to print an A1, someone will print A0 or a number of sets or quality or different types of media. There's three roles. So you can print, put up to three different types of media, different widths, different types. So you, we can save those presets so it be as easy, as easy as forwarding a file directly to the printer. And there's a cost review application as well. So if you're a manager or administrator, you can you can literally be out of the office, submit a job, you can get emailed reports to find out where and to track your costs. You know, how much time am I using, how much media am I using, who submitted the jobs. You can get all that data to manage your printer anywhere in the world. You don't need VPN access. So this is a very, very good feature. Um, and that's where it supports the V-card. So you can drop V-cards into the software. So excuse my ignorance, what's a V-card? V-card is, is like a, a contact card. So it'll have your name, your email address, so it recognises you know, if your email address when you're sending it to, to sending jobs to the printer. Oh, V-card from Outlook. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so that's, um, and you know, obviously it's very, you can control it by commands in email, you know, number of sets, types of media and so forth. 
So, you know, it's, there's uh, an application which you can download from iTunes, which is a, it's free, you don't have to pay for it, uh, which is a very good tool to use as well. But uh, most people find the email printing quite, works quite well. Um, so it works off a template where you've got a number of copy size and whatever, or just free text? Uh, it works off a template, so you can store templates, just change the text around it, away you go. So environmental considerations. So you know, in talking to some larger corporates and uh, government bodies, you know, there's some certain uh, green rating of products that they require. Um, recyclable design, compact, reliable construction for extended life, low emissions, high efficiency, reduced energy consumptions, timer functions, reuse and recycle, uh, and I think I've, I think the biggest point is the energy star rating. So looking at any new device, as, as, you know, how costs go up, you need to look at each device and, and see, you know, is, is this going to be worthwhile? How much is it going to cost to operate? So it's got all those certifications in Europe and North America, um, which, uh, you know, some parts do have very strict green ratings they require. And it's got an oilless fuser system and uh, reduction of waste. Uh, Colour management? Colour management. Yeah. We, in terms of colour management, there's different types of rip softwares we can provide. Keep have a rip software with the machine. Uh, we also have a, a third party uh, colour management system as well. So it'll help uh, you know, obviously with colour profiling on different medias and achieving the best quality as well. Can you use it for firing? Yes. Yeah. Yes, you can. Um, so that's. That's basically what I had for today. I just wanted to basically give you guys the information about basic running costs, the, the, product, the product, high productivity of the machine, and some of the cloud and driverless printing uh, that's available. Obviously, this is a lot, lot more to these machines, you know, and I ask you if you guys contact your Connie Criminalta reps and I'll be able to provide you with all those information. Um, but do you guys have any questions? Good. Excellent. Well, thank you guys for your time. I hope I've uh, sort of, you know, given you guys the right information to take back with you. And feel free to take any brochures, business cards, or mints on the way out.